Imagine me chilling in my room trying to go to bed while watching YouTube. When I see my recommended, a video that's entirely in Japanese. Me being me, I click on it trying to see how this got in my recommended. It's beautiful. Everything about this opening is amazing. Random deer that don't make sense. Goofy deer. Goofy dances. Goofier dances. High quality dances. They're playing Fortnite in the opening. They're playing Elden Ring in the opening. They're playing Tokyo Ghoul opening in the opening. What can I say? I was hooked immediately. Now the deer anime starts off with this yellow haired girl, Koshitan, walking to school and just being the perfect role model to everyone around her. Little does everyone know, she's a gangster and manipulating them. But the deer, they know something's not right. Suddenly, Koshitan notices something. A hanging body. Oh, never mind. It's just a deer girl stuck up there. Koshitan decides to help her out, and the deer girl, Nokatan, uses her deer sensors to detect that Koshitan is a delinquent. I guess deers can just do that nowadays. Koshitan heads to class, and who would have guessed it? There's a new transfer student today. Who is it? Nokatan. And she can't get through the doorway. So what does she do? Break the doorway down with her antlers. Dog, what the fuck is Aura? It's this right here. And everyone is just fine with it because they know who they're dealing with. This is what I love about this show. It doesn't even try to take itself seriously. At least not where I'm at in the story. And it does a spectacular job at doing this. As the school day ends, Koshitan is about to head back home when she hears a noise coming from the shed and realizes that it's Nokatan and she's dead. Just kidding, deers can't die. Koshitan decides to help out Nokatan with cleaning the shed and once they are done, the teacher congratulates them for cleaning up and tells Koshitan that she is now the president of the deer club and has to take care of Nokatan as the club's representative deer. If you ask me where the plot was going, I tell you I'd have no fucking clue. In episode 2, someone tries to murder Nokatan, which causes her to become a true Sigma male. The assassin is actually Koshitan's sister, and to settle their beef, they have a debate over who can guess the most about Koshitan. And after 19.6 million rounds of exposing Koshitan's deepest, darkest secrets, Koshitan dies of embarrassment. And Purple Hair is all like, It's because the secret society of deer you know so much about my sister! And unleashes a barrage of kunai after her. And, Oh no, Sister Chan slips! And sends a kunai towards Koshitan, but, Get down, Mr. President! Nokatan saves her and literally dies. Yeah, I'm sorry if that was corny please subscribe. This is the first time we see 2D deer, and they're the deer taking Nokatan to heaven. Oh wait, like I said earlier, deers can't die. But there's something crucial in this scene that not a lot of people have seen. If you look in the outro, there's a cat girl, and right here you can see a cat ears on one of the gray guys. This is Oda levels of foreshadowing. And if you ask me where the plot was going after this episode, I'll answer again with no fucking clue. But to be honest, that's fine. I don't usually like episodic anime, but it works here. You get to see girls be girls. I that sounds kind of sus, but hear me out. There's zero fan service, and it's like Azumanga. Silly shit, but the main characters are just girls. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. In the third episode, Koshitan, you know what? Fuck it, she's yellow hair from here on out. Yellow hair thinks Nogaton turned into a deer, and to try and turn her back, sings a song she made to her. Yeah, this goes on for a minute and a half. Turns out Nogaton was right behind her, and turns out the deer is just an escapee from the zoo. Normal deer shenanigans, I guess. The next day, Yellow hair gives a speech because she's the student council president. Then after that, they see the final member of the opening sleeping outside the deer club. She's stupid. But now the deer club has all four members from the opening. Yay! But who are these characters again? Nokatan. She's the star of the show. You know her and love her. The one with the most aura? Shikanoko Noko. She's obviously the best character in the show. But there's something you may not know about her. She is voiced by Gon. But that also means Gon is voiced by her. It's kind of weird, but it's hard to even really notice. But more on her character. She isn't just plain stupid, she's silly, and even has times where she becomes a true Sigma male. Or female, I guess. Only thing I gotta tell you is don't watch the dub. Now for the second question. You're ignoring me? At this moment, it's Koshi. Wow, this time Nobutan was faster. Your answer? Is Koshi-tan wearing a bra? 
She is wearing a bra top, so the answer is technically no. Seriously, why is this the question? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Koshitan. Now, Koshitan is the relatable one in the group. The only person that ever thinks like an actual human being in every situation. The only problem I have with her is she's a Tokyo Revengers fan. But I can get past that. She's just as silly as everyone else in the group and definitely has her funny moments like Nokotan. But there's a lot more rationale behind her actions that the viewer can connect with. She gets embarrassed by things and acts how anyone would in her shoes. And that's what I like about her. Purple. Now she's kind of freaky. Not in that way, but psychotic. She has a sister complex, and that's her entire character. But do I have room to judge when I'm only on episode 3? No. I owe the author some time to flesh out her character. I can't be rushing peak fiction. Green. Now this one probably says her name like 20 times per episode, but I just don't like her. She's stupid and talks like the Hulk. Green hungry, green tired, it's just fucking annoying. But do I have room to judge when I'm only on episode 3? Yes, I don't feel wrong about this one. She better change the way she talks, cause if not, it's gonna be the same way I feel about that goddamn annoying frog girl for my hero. God, I, 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 I fucking hate Sue. It's, ah, uh, fucking hate that bitch. But wait, there's one more character we're all forgetting. The narrator. Now the narrator, yeah, he's chill as hell. He talks with some of the characters breaking the fourth wall and is just all around a pretty cool guy. There's even an ad campaign with someone that sounds kind of similar promoting the show like a news anchor or something. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, but silly as hell. Animation. It either makes or breaks an anime. In this, it only makes. And even the parts where it should take away, it doesn't. Everything from the transitions to the opening, it does pretty well. The deer can get kind of janky at times, but I feel like that's just the studio having fun with what they're working on. The ending song is a great example of this. They literally show clips of deers and the entire process behind the manufacturing of deer crackers. They also do the same thing with the eye catchers by having it just be the main characters edited into photos of actual deer or even just nature. But let's get back to the animation. Now, I think the 3D deer is a really smart choice. The only problem with it is that when it becomes 2D, it kind of takes away from the scene because, oh my god, they finally have 2D deer. And in some scenes, you can literally see the separation between dimensions. I don't think this has ever been done before. They also go for a very simplistic style during some of the scenes that adds to the level of silliness in the show. And all around, they keep a very clean animating style that's really nice to see. Another thing I like is the amount of references there are in the show. From Mishita no Jo to Fist of the North Star to even Elden Ring. You find references to many different series throughout each episode. Now, what is my favorite part about the show? Well, besides Nokaton, it has to be the opening. This is what originally got me hooked onto wanting to watch the show. Immediately after hearing it for the first time, I listened to it on repeat for about an hour. From the vocals to the animation, it's just perfect. Now this opening is one of those openings where the characters also seen the song, so I get to hear going from Hunter x Hunter absolutely bless my ears. I don't know what she's saying, but it's probably something about deer. Also, the animation in this opening is fire. From the goofy scenes to the fighting scenes, just a truly beautiful opening that fits perfectly with the anime and sends the message of what the anime is really about. Deer Club shenanigans. Now, with only a couple episodes out, the story has so much more to add, so my opinion on things will change, but I guess right now the only thing I'm waiting on is the beach episode. Anyways, that's it. Watch Dear Anime, stay humble, and subscribe.